Hey, what's up guys? It's uh, Matt with Odds Jam, and today's video will be giving you some early lines to bet on for uh, NFL Sunday. Um, so the recording of this is Tuesday, December 2nd, and I've already locked in about $70 worth of bets for NFL Sunday, which is being played on the 12th. Um, the purpose of this video while giving you these two bets is to highlight the importance of always be checking the lines, even as early in the week as this, um, because a lot of times before the market really catches up, you can get some really good odds and some really good lines. So one example of this I did was for the Rams-Jaguars game this past Sunday. Um, I highlighted it here, but I bet the under on three different totals. I got the under 50, under 50 and a half, and the under 49 and a half. Um, and two of those bets I locked in on December 1st, and the games were played, excuse me, December 5th, and the next one I locked in on the 2nd. So not quite as early as I am doing it now, but still days before the game started. Um, and as you can see, all three of those bets hit. Only in, in two, and one of the three ended up not being better odds in the closing line, but it still hit, so it's okay. Um, so you'll see a lot of times these uh, odds makers when they, in you know, the betting sharps out there, when um, a line is first posted and they'll show you the movement. A lot of times it's situations like this where the sharp bets, uh, the sharp people, the people that use Odds Jam um, will just hammer a line when it's first posted and then it'll kind of fluctuate from there. So we saw that with the total yesterday and the Monday Night Football game. Granted, that was weather related, but you saw the total plummet. I think it ended at about 40, 40 and a half and it still went under. Um, but uh, the first one of these bets that I want to highlight, uh, the higher positive expected value is this chargers versus giants um so you can get this on bet mgm at minus 110 odds and it is just the game under 45 and a half um so the odds jam perfect line has this at minus 127 so if we take out the vig it's minus 127 plus 112 it has the perfect line at about minus 118 with the vig removed and we are getting that at minus 110 so that's where you get about the three and a half positive expected value. Um, based on my bankroll, I, I put uh, about 40 on this. Um, and I think it's a good bet. I mean, if you look at the Giants' schedule, um, one, uh, Daniel, Daniel Jones is out. And last week, uh, the last game they played with him out, they scored a total of nine points. Uh, the week before that, against the Eagles, uh, who not a great defense, with their starting quarterback, they scored 23 points. The week before that, they scored 10. 23 which is a little bit better, and then 17, you know, 11 against the Rams, 20. Um, so this Giants offense, to say the least, is not good. Um, you know, two, the, the three of the past four weeks, they've failed to produce more than 13 points. Uh, the week before that, they only put up 17. Um, so they don't have a good offense, and especially with their quarterback banged up, uh, Daniel Jones. As of right now, I believe um, the word on him is unsure, but it's possible that he might even miss the season. And the, the last I heard, I believe he's getting another MRI to see how bad the strain is. So this is a game where I don't expect the Giants to put up a ton of points. Um, and while the Giants' defense isn't great, uh, they're not. I wouldn't say they're quite terrible. And the Chargers' offense is pretty hit or miss. So if you look at the Chargers' schedule, they'll have some games like that last week where they put up crazy point totals. Like they put up 41 against the Chargers. Um, the Steelers, 41 against the Bengals. But then the last week, two weeks ago, they put up 13 against the Broncos. Um, they had a game against the Ravens where they put up six. They, this game against the Patriots was a little bit closer than it looked. Um, and then even this game against the uh, Raiders back in October, uh, they had a really slow start and they really didn't come on in the second half. So you'll see uh, the, the Chargers offense being hit or miss. And well, I don't expect them to, you know, have a game where they only put up 13 points. I don't think they'll put up over 25 uh, or even close to 30. And based on how the Giants' offense is projecting, um, that makes this over, or excuse me, this under a pretty good play. So I would imagine right now the line's at 45 and a half. I would imagine that's going to drop closer to uh, 42, 43. Um, and getting it where we did is is. Um, is a good line. So we, you can, we can monitor this line as the week goes on. My guess is that it's going to continue to drop, especially now that the Odds Jam Perfect line has this so much lower. Um, so that would be the first bet that you've seen me lock in here. Um, the Chargers under 45 and a half. Um, the next play is also on Bet MGM, and that is going to be this Browns versus Ravens. Browns first half money line at minus 120. Um, 
So this one has about 3.2% positive expected value. Um, I put about 30 bucks on it myself based on my bankroll. So if we want to take out the VIG, we got it at minus 120. It uh, looks like the Ajin Perfect Line has this at minus 136. So minus 136 and plus 121 puts the true odds at about minus 127. So like I said, we're getting it at minus 120 on the bet MGM Sportsbook. And that is how you can get the, uh, that's where you get the positive expected value from there. So the reason why I like this game is one, the Browns just had a buy. So you figure they'll come out fresh while the, Ra uh, the Ravens just had a terrible, um, not necessarily terrible in, in how they lost, but just a gut-wrenching loss to the Steelers in which, A, they lost another player for the year in Marlon Humphrey, and B, they had a chance to win it at the end, but um, just couldn't quite convert the two-point conversion. Um, so the Ravens just seem to be snake-bitten with injuries, and granted, the record as good as they have, um, I believe they're 8-4, and four. they haven't really been playing as good as an 8-4 and four team. They um, had some uh, wins, they had some wins, but they've been extremely lucky to... Um, to, to get. So one of them, uh, this Bears win. Granted, that was without Lamar Jackson, but um, I mean, they had to come back at the very end to score and win that game. Uh, this game against the Browns was a terrible game. I mean, they, they just played and they were only up six to three at halftime. Um, you figure another week healthier for Baker, uh, another week healthier for Kareem Hunt that the Browns should play a little better than they did that game. And then last week, um, as, as I said, they lost to the Steelers and, you know, that banged up. Not necessarily banged up, but just struggling offense. Um, and, you know, they beat the Vikings in OT. They they had a really poor showing against the Dolphins. Uh, they got lucky to beat the Colts. They got lucky to beat the Lions. Um, you know, that that Chiefs win was a good win. And then they uh, lost to the Raiders in overtime. So despite the 8-4 and four record, the Ravens aren't quite as good as an 8-4 and four team. And the expectation here is that they're going to come out a little bit slow after a tough loss in a hard-fought game, a critical, you know, a a typical AFC North showdown against the Steelers physical game. And the Browns are well-rested coming off a bye where they just lost to the Ravens. Um, so you think you think you expect them to come out hot. So that is the second bet that I'm going to have. Um, just to confirm, it is the Browns' first half money line at minus 120. Uh, we took out the VIG and got that at – or excuse me, we took out the VIG and found that the true odds at minus 127. We got that at minus 120, so there's the positive expected value there. And then to recap, the other play, the Chargers-Giants, we're, go, we're going with the under 45.5 total points. Uh, again, on Bet MGM, we got that at minus 110 odds. Ajahn Perfect Line has that at minus 127 and plus 112. Um, and as I said, um, I have had good luck doing this locking in bets early. Um, this is the best example I could find because I, I hit a line three different times at three different totals, and all three of them won. Um, so... I love getting on early lines like this. Um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a sharper way to make money betting on sports. And um, and yeah, so that's all I got for you. Um, just to give a little recap, so positive EV betting has, has been good for me. I've profited almost about four grand from it. Almost all the bets I do now are only positive expected value. As you can see, these three totals are dwindling compared to positive EV. Um, and this is just part of the strategy that I use to make sure that I consistently profit. Over all time, I'm at about 4,400. Um, so... Uh, that's going to be the video today, just highlighting the importance of early bets, and um, and I gave you two sharp ones. Um, again, Browns, first half money line against the Ravens, and I forgot to mention the Browns are at home. That's one point that I forgot to mention. And then the Chargers-Giants, under 45.5 total, minus 110 odds. Um, so that's all I got for you today. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. You can hit me up on Twitter at my uh, handle below. You can email me at matthew at oddsjam.com. Uh, or you can just comment on this video. I'll make sure to check out those as well. Uh, but that's all I got for you. So happy betting, happy watching, and good luck.